Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 2. Alright, so we're going to start moving forward and to the right of our current location so that we can go get the large mithril that's that's hidden back there. So we are just going to move forward very slowly and very carefully and I probably need to heal a couple of people just to make sure they're at full health because... Two spellcasters and a boss. And the last time we were in, in such a situation, we lost rock. Now, I've been told that it's, it's entirely possible to do that without losing someone. But I, I've i never been able to trigger the AI that way in Scenario 2. I mean, granted, this is my second time playing Scenario 2. Let's see, what do I have? I don't have free space. So I'm not going to do that. What about Waltz? You don't have free space. Who has... You have free space. You're going to go get that. So we're going to just keep moving over here. Oh. I never expected a small force to break through your respectable army. Or respectable enemy, excuse me. The enemy continues to advance. Should we request support from the Symbios army? Heh, <laughs> I can't ask for help now. It's not too late, General Varland. Withdraw your troops and surrender. Prince Median will surely understand. It's a symbol that says, Varland. And then we'll all go back to Espinia peacefully. Do you expect me to withdraw from battle just because we are losing? Nonsense! I'd rather my army fight to the last man than limp away like cowards. Alright, so yeah. Varland is way too honor-bound. He's like, I will do this no matter what. It's like, uh, no. You don't, you don't want to do this. I also want to see what attack range... Alright, I am within attack range of the enemy spellcaster, so I need to make sure I'm not bunching people up the way I am. just to avoid anyone getting hit. Alright, we're gonna send... Oh! What the hell? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Alright, so, change of plan. Now we just get... <laughs> the Birdman icons look like they've changed too, the view models. Alright, uh, let's, let's heal Waltz, because Varlant just kind of walked up and went smack. Didn't think he would start, you know, moving in at this point. So, let's, let's start doing some damage to him. We can go ahead and kill him. Probably going to need to go ahead and kill him. Yeah! Tornado 1. Alright! I, I really wanted to get the, the item first, but nope! Nope! Uh, I have it. I'm gonna go ahead and just get the item with rock. And we're gonna start throwing out some damage. Um, need to ki I don't know why the priest didn't heal Varland, but... And we learned Ice Arrow with Bernard. Perfect. So we are going to start doing some damage. Killing people where we can. Overkill Median. Way beyond overkill. That would have one-shotted him at full health. But now we don't have to worry about healing. So instead, what I'm going to worry about is doing damage two groups of enemies. <laughs> Synthesis is going to do some damage to the Birdman and to the Mage, which means I can walk over with just about anyone at this point and clean up. And you're going to walk up and attack Median. You're going to melee attack Median. Alright, I don't want to give him the chance to learn that he has spells. 
Alright, so now really all I have to worry about is Varland. Who's going to attack medium? And I love... So, one thing that I, I may have talked about a little bit is the, the battle music. So you've got hero... Or you've got soldier and hero, uh, which is the unpromoted and promoted tracks for the Empire and the Republic. So you've got soldier of the Republic, hero of the Republic. Uh, and so that's, that's what we're currently... Uh, what we currently get to listen to. Uh, but the fact that, you know, Varland is a Republic general, uh, we get the, uh, the Republic theme for when he attacks instead of what was the enemy theme. Uh, I'm gonna attack Varland with Waltz. She's already level 5, so... That's... She's done 22 points of damage to him so far, so... And have Rock come in, do some damage. We can kill the Birdmen fairly easily. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna have Bernard uh, kill that one, because I'm pretty sure he'll do 12 points of damage to him. Yep. And Bernard is now level five. Perfect. So my my two rangers and median are level f level five. All right, let's attack Varlint. Do some more damage. Median will recover some MP. Um, let's go ahead and kill kill you. Yep, yeah, that's that's a dead bird man. Now he's Kentucky Fried Chicken, and we learn Double Palm. Campbell, um, we've already learned an ability on the Lance. Let's get an attack boost and start leveling up Spear, shall we? And Campbell levels to five. That was a pathetic level up. You're going to attack Median and probably do a little bit of damage. Not uh, just a little. Just a little. That's actually considerably less damage than I was expecting. Alright, Uriudo. I don't think I can do seven points of damage with Uriudo. But I'm going to try. No. Three points of damage. Uh, you don't need to get the kill, so you're not going to get the kill. I'm just gonna... Let's see, what's everyone's to next level? Synthesis is getting ready to level, Uriuto will level, Walt's just leveled, Rock... I'm gonna have Uriuto kill him. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but I'm gonna move Uriuto... And we'll recover 2 HP, so net loss of, of 1 HP a turn, which is fine. You're gonna move over. Oh, crap. That's... Alright, I'm gonna have to just kill him. Because Dominion Ray... Dominion Ray is too much of a threat. I forgot that he had it, so... Waltz, Bernard, Rock. Congratulations, you're going to get the kill. And you're going to overkill. And with that, General Varland is dead, and we get a power wine. And Rock levels up to five. Pretty good level up. Carrying too much, what will we drop for the power wine? Uh, we will drop an antidote herb. So, bad fight's over, and now we are finished up with a switch point battle. This side of the switch point battle considerably easier than
been uh, Symbios' side. Thanks to the cooperation of your army, Prince Median, we were able to save all the refugees. We owe you a great debt. It is we who are indebted. No innocent blood was spilled thanks to you defeating the notorious border guards. Since you pursued us this far, I'm sure there's much you would like to know. I'll answer your questions to the best of my knowledge. The rumor in the Empire is that King Benetrim abducted the Emperor. We'd like to know if that's true. King Benetrim and the Symbios army were in no way involved in the Emperor's abduction. If we were responsible, he would be with us now. Ah, that's a good point. However, the rumor isn't complete. F isn't a complete fabrication. A Bolzom operative impersonating me did assist in the Emperor's abduction. We witnessed the imposter earlier. It's likely the imposter engineered the downfall of the peace conference as well. He may be impersonating King Benetrim to spark a war between our two countries. Elbasim, help us. What larger goal could they have in mind? One thing we do know is the Bolzom sect is the driving force behind all of this. Abducting the Emperor and impersonating King Benetrim are both their responsibility. Have you encountered these monks? Uh, yeah, a couple of times. Just a couple. You battled them on Saravan Loading Dock. To start a ruckus like that just before they snatched the Emperor, our enemies are quite audacious. In other places, too, everywhere we went, we encountered the Bolsom sect pulling strings behind the scenes. I imagine you'd like to know where they took the Emperor. Y yeah, do you know? We fell into a trap set by the four high priests of Volzom, and they were used as a, and were used as a decoy to distract the Imperial army while the Emperor was taken by ship. That must have been the ship we saw earlier. If we had only known that the that was what was going on, we we couldn't have stopped it. There's no way we could have stopped Fial at level four. Even even less than level four. So, of course, we could seek the assistance of General Rogan and his ship, the Seagate. General Rogan is one of the few who sympathize with you, Prince. Let's make haste to Barend. Alright, so we're gonna go to Barend, talk to General Rogan, see if we can get some assistance. Brave Knight Dontarius of the Republic, let us share a drink or two in the future. Alright, so we... we wander off. I love Prince Median's theme. It's just so... Ah, that's badass. Come to think of it, when that priest was boarding the ship earlier, the masked monk with him was carrying something. Why didn't we notice it at the time? There wasn't much we could have done with the small number of troops we had anyway. However, with General Rogan's help, we won't be outnumbered. I just thought of something. The shortest route to Baron, if we went by boat from Anifact, And effect is just to the east, and from there it's not far across the canal to Barrent. There are Shining Force maps for the, the the translation team and Shining Force Central. They've compiled maps so you can see where all of this is taking place, so you can get an idea of you know direction. That should indeed be the fastest way. Let's go, Prince Median. So we're gonna head to An Effect, which will allow us to head to Barrent. And then the train also pulls out, which happens to have the Symbios army on it. So, so we know what happens to them. Because once they're on the train, that's when Shiraf encounters them. So we know what they're going to be looking forward to. But for us, this is the end of Chapter 1. Emperor Domeric's abduction threatens war between the Empire and the Republic. The Median army again met the Symbios army who demonstrated their innocence. They head to Baron to seek General Rogan's aid. So begins Prince Median's journey. Chapter 1. The Third Prince's Journey Begins. Ends. <laughs> uh, that's, that's one of those things that's like, that just grammatically seems... Will we record the adventure so far? Yes! No, we're not going to overwrite. We're going to save over previous, because that's just what I do. Just in case there's an issue with recording, I can go back.
you know, fix it, that sort of thing. All right, so. Oh, that sounds like happy music, doesn't it? The plans of traitors. Oh, doesn't that sound... And with the music... I could not have picked a more ominous... Oh, what, what do we have here? We come across a... What looks like a battle. A whole bunch of dead bodies that did not explode. Campbell expected the soldier, but he doesn't appear to be breathing. It looks like this battle took place only a short while ago, but they all appear to be dead. It doesn't look like there were any survivors. Like, that's... that's a... I, I do like the joke that, like, they haven't spun around and exploded yet, so they must be very dead. And very freshly dead. Stumbled upon the side of battle here, but it's peculiar. Garzel soldiers? General Spuriel's White Knights? A Republic force? And some masked monks. So... Unfortunately, with no one left alive, there's no way to find out what happened here. We kind of know what happened. We know that uh, spiral has been uh, taken over by Basanda by this point. So she's working against the Empire. So like that, that draws her forces. And hey, look, a white knight. Here, the Garzal and Proton armies waged a fierce battle. Yeah, we haven't seen Proton yet. We came to reinforce the Garzal army. We never imagined it was a trap. Hey, Uryudo, get over there and heal him really quickly. Wasanda put some kind of spell on General Spiriel. Please, break the spell on the general. See, he died and vanished. Why, did, why are these guys still here? This is an interesting turn of events, but what trap was he talking about and how did the Bullzum set get involved? Well, I mean, they've been involved since the beginning, so... That High Priestess Basanda apparently put a spell on General Spiriel? But why? Could the battle between Garzal and Proton have been set up to draw Spiriel in? I think we're wasting our time here. Yeah, we should probably move forward. Why do you say that? Hearing that soldier mention a trap, everyone is racking their brains. Do you know what he meant? No, I don't. But there's bound to be some clue somewhere that would explain things. She's right. If we move forward, we might find a little bit of information. Hanging out, you know, in a field of corpses is probably not the best idea. We can talk to the people of that effect. I'm sure they must know something. Since the battle occurred near town, they might be able to shed some light on exactly what happened. You're sharp, Sintesis. That's the obvious thing to do. Why didn't I think of that? This battle seems related to what we witnessed in Saraband. There must be a connection. It, everything is connected at this point. Anything that happens, you should know is not just by some happenstance. I agree, Campbell. If we can figure out what happened here, other questions may be answered. Yep, time to move forward. Let's head to Anifact and see what we can discover. And in order to get to Baron, we should ask the village chief if he has a boat we can use. While you guys are taking care of that, the rest of us can grab something to eat. I hear they have fresh fish in Anifact. Yes. Because food is exactly what's on on the docket right now. Actually, it kind of is. I, we, don't really talk about food that much. Alright, so we are in an effect village. There's a whole bunch of stuff that we can do here, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it, because we are about out of time. I'm gonna see if I can find the, uh... Part of the issue is the fact that this place is designed like a maze. You can only get around certain ways, like you can't go this way. I gotta find out where the... 
get out of... You're not even moving, and you're, I can't get you out of my way. Uh, I need to go find the... Uh, the church so we can save it. But then there's a bunch of stuff here uh, that we're going to start looking around for, and... Um... Weapon and armor shop. That's... That's a thing. Okay. Um, so how do I get around, then? Uh, I'm gonna just move... You won't move out of the way, though. Like, that doesn't do me any good. Oh, damn it. I'll have to figure out what's going on in this godforsaken town. Please let this be the church. Yes! Okay, so that's the church. So we'll just save it here and end the episode. I'll figure out what I need to... What all specifically I need to do. Because I know there's going to be some hidden items. There's probably going to be some people we need to talk to. So uh, we'll get all that sorted out. And I will see you guys in the next installment where we'll handle all that. So, till then, later everyone.